They were huge. Huge fish. Okay. Ours are on the, they're like that. They're like that? So they're starting to twitch and move around and have they hatched? Yeah. yeah. All of yes. They're swimming around like larvae. So you might have missed the first few hours of development. You guys know what this part is, right? The yolk. The yolk. And then there are two cells up here. And these two cells are the entire embryo. That's that's what's going to turn into the entire fish, these two cells right here. Mm -hmm. So did you guys see the fish heart? Mm -hmm. We yeah. did, and we saw that this morning. Yeah. Cool. Did everybody see the heart beating? Yep. Yep. I can always tell when a kid is looking down the microscope and they're just saying they see the heart beating, but they don't really see it, because when they really see it, they go, oh! <laughs> And you can see the blood moving. Did anybody see the little speckles of blood yeah. moving? Yeah. Can you tell um, if they're a male or a female? Uh, the adults or the babies? Babies. Yeah, so I can tell the adults really easily. The babies actually, at this stage, they don't even know if they're boys or girls um, because they haven't actually decided. Uh, so fit. So for us, the moment we're our, that our human uh, zygote forms, that is a fertilized egg uh, forms, and the mom's and the dad's DNA gets together, it's already determined that we're going to be a boy or a girl. Because a girl has two X chromosomes, which is a structure of DNA, and the boy has an X and a Y chromosome. So right from the start, as soon as you start growing, your body already knew what you were going to be. But with fish, that's not the case. Um, so they don't have chromosomes that tell whether they're going to be boys or girls. And so it's determined by their environment and how much stress they're under. Believe it or not, you might have some young people here at eight or nine years old that would like to do what you're doing or perhaps become a scientist in some way as they grow older. Are, it's a little early yet, but it, do you have any suggestions that they, uh, of things that they might be thinking about that they would need to do yeah. in the near to distant, not too distant future? Yeah, I do. I have some great advice for, for young scientists, and that is follow your passion. If you, if you want to uh, spend more time looking down the microscope and doing stuff in science class, talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, talk to the principal, and say, hey, I want to do more science. I want to I do some experiments. I'm really interested in fish, bugs, trees, whatever it is. Get some books. Learn more, learn all about it. Become an expert. You can you with the you with the computer or, and the library, there's so much you can learn. 